All right, so as the title suggests, this is going to be the class of 2018 worst action figures or figures in general. And uh, there's a couple doozies on this list. And mind you, not everything is from 2018. There's at least one that is not. The rest, I believe, are. Um, and they all kind of have similar issues in and of themselves, but we're going to work through them. So let's go ahead and kick it off with number five. And here we have a Jack Specific 4-inch Breath of the Wild Link. And the reason he really does come down on this list compared to a lot of the other Jack Specific figures I've had this year is the fact that, well, as you can see here, I have lots of putty on him so that he can even hold his accessories. This nice big arrow, he can't hold. He can, however, hold the bow, but the arrow won't do anything in that aspect. Also... His sheath here will not stay on his butt. That's going to require some glue. In fact, I think it's supposed to go like this, but it won't stay on. And he does keep falling over, so I have to have a uh, putty on his foot. I mean, the details and stuff like that on the figure are really, really well done, so that I can't fault it. The articulation is actually not bad, but the accessories, even as good as they look, are so weak, and the fact that he doesn't interact with them properly... Um, and it took Putty to even get him to be this cool uh, is pretty much why he's at the bottom of the worst list. Uh, though there's other Jax figures that definitely should be here. I would say a definite runner-up would be the Inkling Girl because her thing wouldn't fall or her um, ink pack would not stay on her back. I had to completely glue it in place. And her knees are weak and double-jointed, so they flip-flop so she can fall over fairly easy. But Link is definitely worse than she is, so that's why he's here at number five. Yeah, so what exactly is going to be above this? Well, you saw the thumbnail, so obviously it's going to be one of the other four. Speaking of that, let's go on to number four. This old boy, well, kind of like Starscream, he ha his review actually disappeared, so you guys haven't actually gotten to see him. You have seen his chair in the Leia review, but you haven't actually seen good old Snokey here. While his uh, details on his skin and everything are actually well done, his chair is very cheaply done. In fact, the details are so bad that I had to, in fact, paint the seat to match the rest of his butt thing there. His articulation is limited considering his size, and he even doesn't sit in his chair very well. I mean, he's a cool figure, but very limited and cost way too much to the point that I bought this thing for a tent for ten dollars from GameStop and they were begging me to take it at that price so that's why he is where he is he's definitely not a great figure in comparison he's a good display piece and if you have something really set up for him he'd be really really cool in fact once I get my Star Wars uh, shelf set up he would look pretty good there though now it makes me feel like I need to pick up a Ray and a Kylo to go with him so moving on number three um, as a set, sort of, that I've picked up over the year. Um, it's strange that even though there are some weak components with this, this guy is just not that fantastic. <laughs> like I said, he's just not that fantastic, even for Mr. Fantastic. So, George Clooney here. He's incredibly limited and kind of dumb. Um, the old body buck here just kind of sucks, and his gimmick of the long, stretchy, sort of bendy arms really isn't that good. I feel like he could have been done better. The, the head sculpt is pretty good in and of its own right. Um, the other problem I have is I have no idea what happened to his ultimate nullifier. It disappeared on me. So, that sucks. No idea where it went. It's just gone. Because he was holding it, and now he's not doing anything. Now, he goes well with the rest of the set for the uh, Fantastic Four, but as an individual figure, he's just not as good as even a Sue. Um, she's a little bit better sculpt-wise and her gimmick, well, dumb, not quite as dumb as this. And she comes in a hurry. So that's it. Mr. Mr. Fantastic is stuck at number three. Now, the number one and number two spot are from the same line and from the same series. However, number two for different reasons, is really bad. So let's cover that before we get on to number one. <sighs> Zeo Pink. Well, overall, the Zeo Rangers weren't that bad. The main reason she comes onto this list, where she really wasn't originally, 
it, the skirts hinder articulation and otherwise not that great all the zeos are not that great because their weapons are kind of dumb their paint is lacking for the most part however she made this list because she will not stay on the damn shelf she has fallen four times off the shelf because her ankles are almost non-existent to the point that after i'm done with all these reviews and I get my room cleaned up i am gluing these ankles solid so that they no longer fall out from under like she fell so hard she actually completely came apart at the torso she split herself in two that's why she's worse than the other ones. Now, Zeo Green, he's having a hard time, but he's falling over in a direction that's not hurting anybody. <sighs> but, as we're going to see with number one, you'll see why she's number two. So, by a process of elimination, we have only this left as the top worst figure of the year. The Butterscotch Ranger, or Velveeta Ranger himself, the Zeo Gold Ranger, is of course the worst figure of this year. Are you kidding me? I mean, you know, you guys know the sheer amount of work that went into making him at least look this good. And I really do like how he came out after I painted him. But it was an enormous amount of work to make something that's even this good, which is really not that good. Now, mind you, he's a little loose after being taken apart and stuff. And just like the other Rangers, I've got putty on his feet. His weapon here, the gold staff, has gotten so squishy, so soft that it's really hard to maintain. He has fallen off the shelf a couple times, but actually only due to Pink falling into him and knocking them both down. But given that they just didn't try... With with this ranger that's so iconic for the colors and the way he looks. They didn't try. That's why he gets to be number one worst. Considering everything else. So that's it for the top five worst action figures from 2018. Like I said, not all of them are from 2018. They were just purchased and or reviewed in 2018. Because Snoke is definitely a bit older than that. Uh, Link, I believe, might be from 2017. but Or just very early 2018 but either way all of these things are either just not very good or terrible so it is what it is and given that there was a lot of problems with my marvel legends that i got this year some of them were just really bad and even forgiving the um deadpool that was missing a sword fresh in the box um <laughs> that's that's saying something now i did originally have super saiyan kaba on this list until Zeo Pink kept falling, and which really pushed Kaiba out of there. So he's just kind of an honorable mention as just not being good for what he is. And Gohan being right behind him with having bad paint and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. So guys, go check out the other top lists as are going to be in the playlist, wherever it is. Uh, or in the description down below. we got the Transformers, we got the Gunpla, all that stuff. So up next, of course, we're going to do the top best figures of the year, which is so much better than this. Which is surprising, considering it says best. So come back for that in a little bit, and I'll see you guys later on in 2019. Remember, as always, keep on nerding.